What's up? Welcome back. Fifth time recording this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but the G920, um, I would honestly, out the gate, I'd probably give it a 8 out of 10. It's a good beginner's wheel. Um, if you're wanting to do some, you know, some crazy driving, sim driving on like a set of Corsa or here, this is not a sim game. I want to point that out. Forza is not a sim game, and I, a friend really had to point that out because I really love Forza Horizon 4, but I couldn't get the wheel to work for Forza Horizon, Forza Horizon 4. It worked perfectly on a set of Corsa. So, but I could just never find the right settings for. Uh, Forza Horizon 4. I never could, ever. And I th always thought I was just doing it wrong or something, but got this game, hooked it up to the wheel, and so I was expecting to be disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I haven't changed any settings, but map my e-brake here, my little hydro brake, and that is it. That's all I've done. Uh, it drives great. I do have to get better at drifting and, and whatever, but this is one of my drift cars, a LS Swap Pro Charge, um, little Miata set up for drifting. Um, so please don't judge my drifting, but this is kind of how you would expect um, this steering wheel with no settings messed with would react to this game. Uh, it's supposed to be really shitty, but it's not. So. In Forza Horizon 4, it was like you. It was like a freaking mystery of how to set that game up. So anyway, I'm gonna go fourth gear, clutch kick. Okay, I'm gonna redo that. <laughs> I wasn't ready. That was my warm up. Just give me a second. <laughs> anyway, if you if you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget about all that, and then subscribe. Uh, we do all kinds of content. I don't just do like games and stuff, we do all kinds of content. So you do have to really work it sometimes. Ooh. But that's 900 degree rotation wheel. See, it goes all the way around. I mean, it's a good wheel. Uh, for a beginner, again. If you if like you really want to get into it, I would get like like I said a Fanatec or something like that. But probably eight out of ten. Um, mine is modded to where I put the spacer in this. I've got a video coming out this week on how to do that. But it's the where it you know comes back to center centering whatever it's called. There's like a specific word for it, but I don't remember it. I've got a washer in there to move it. So, because it'll always forget center. So, like during a set of courses, I'll be cruising my first curve. I'm driving straight, and my wheel will be turned like this, and it's kind of annoying. But it's not as bad now with the washer in it. But I'll upload that video this week sometime. But yeah, Forza Horizon 5 does work with the wheel. Honestly, uh, I would recommend it. Like I said, for gamers or for beginners, not gamers. You do have to work a lot though. Work it. It is not a. Um, it doesn't drift for you, that's for sure. But I'm getting better every day. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if I can drive from first person. Is this ain't an M edition? What the crap? A little far, a little far, a little far. Oh! Anyway, I think you guys get the point. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button if you like this video. That would help me out a lot. That'd be appreciative. I'll have more videos on coming out this week on Forza Five. 
uh, since I know I can record without my computer blowing up or burning down my house. So yeah, thanks again for watching, <laughs> and I'll catch you guys in the next one.